now at the Mount Chumalangma base camp, which is situated at 5,200 meters above sea level. Right now, a new comprehensive expedition is underway here in this area. It is part of the second China uh, surveys on Qinghai Tibet Plateau, uh, which started in 2017. And for this expedition, Chinese scientists have su successfully established the highest automatic weather station on Mount Chumilangma at the elevation of more than 8,800 meters. It has now replaced the one that was set by US and British scientists uh, in 2019 at the elevation of 8,430 meters. Rolling. So here we have uh, the Qing Zhu, uh, who is also one of the members reaching the peak. Let's see how he feels now. Oh, you. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, what's your feeling now? A uh, little bit tight. Yeah. So, what's it feel like when you're standing on the summit of Mount Chumalangma? Uh, this time uh, it's uh, very cold on the top. Uh. Uh, before I summit four, four times, oh. but uh, this time it's the uh, most cold weather in the top. So, I heard that the whole a journey is a re was really difficult this time. Yes. Can you explain us in details? Uh, because uh, climate station the, is uh, very heavy, uh, so all the stuff bring to the top. So all we have uh, 13 meters, so we carry. So it's very heavy. And I heard that the weather was really uh, snowy at that time. Yes. yes. So uh, it's the uh, most uh, steep snow in the Mount Chamlama. Before we plan, four or five hours got to the summit. But uh, when we start from Camp 3 to the top, uh, it's, we just spend uh, nine hours. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult oh, for us. I heard that uh, the last time uh, you went to the top is like 10 years before. So is there any differences between before and this time? Uh, yes, uh, last time is uh, before the 10 years. So uh, at that time, we just uh, climb into the summit is uh, finished. But this time we have a very important mission for us. So uh, we have a very big uh, responsibility.